Gas One Channel Preparation for LPZ Equipment Engineer Skill Test 1. List of tools to blink 1. Pipe slitting machine 2. Pipe vise 3. Killing seat 1. LPZ hose 2. 3. Phase filling 3. Double ball pump 4. Recording pressure gauge 5. Leak checker 6. Slit cutting oil 7. Waste 8. Adjustable wrench 9 and 10. Pipe wrench or corner wrench 11. Wire brush 12. Teflon tape 13. Pen 14. Scales 2. List all pipes and parts to be provided 1. 15A steel pipe 2. 20A steel pipe 3 and 4. 15A to 20A elbow 5. 15A elbow 6. 15A hex nipple 7. 15A union 8. 15A T 9. 15A horse end About pipe lenses There is three kind of pipe lenses Bite is for steel pipes. Bite is for both steel pipes and covered steel pipes. Bite is for covered steel pipes. This pipe latch isn't suitable for this exam. Teflon tape and slit sealant paste can't be used at the same time. In some cases. In this video is using only Teflon tape. When you use the split machine, put the rubber glove, because cotton glove is a riskness taking up the split machine. 3. Check how to measure. This piping drawing is asked in this exam. This measurement from A to D is announced on exam day. So this time, we use this measurement in this video. Then, you can get your cutting length from this formula. Let's get the cutting length of pipe A. Pipe A is connected with 20A elbows at both ends. You can get cutting length by this formula. That's why pipe L length is minus 34 mm from a measurement. Let's get the cutting length of pipe C. Pipe C is connected with 15A elbow and 15A T. You can get cutting length by this formula. That's why pipe C length is minus 32 mm from C measurement. Let's get the cutting length of pipe L. Pipe lead is connected with 15A elbow and 20A elbow at both ends. You can get cutting length from this formula. That's why pipe D length is minus 35mm from D measurement. Let's get the cutting length of pipe B. Pipe B is connected with 15A T. 15A union and 50A elbow. You can get cutting lengths from this formula. That's why pipe B length is minus 97.5 mm from B measurement. However, for pipe B, you should cut it by using actually measured lengths. In principle, it's easy to get a cutting length as long as you remember how to calculate it, isn't it? Oh, piping. At first, we will process 
15A steel pipe. About pipe C, set the 15A steel pipe on slitting machine and slit it at one side. Then, cut the pipe C as we calculated in the previous session. Next, let's slit pipe D. After slitting, cut the pipe D as calculated. Similarly, slit pipe B at one side. Then, slit the other side of pipe C, which we cut just a while ago. Slit pipe D at one side as well. You can do the same slitting and cutting pipe A. Wind the teflon tape around slit with some stretch clockwise one and a half to two rounds. Next is piping. At first, put 15A to 20A elbows with both sides of pipe A. Now, check the slit part left. If it is not enough screwed in, there is slit part left inside. But if it is enough screwed in, there is no slit part left. Two or three thread left by looking outside is good. Next, put pipe D with 15A elbow and pipe A by hand to check the 90 degrees. Put 20A elbow on the other side of pipe A at 90 degrees by pipe length. Then, check the vertically by looking at pipe D. Put 15A hex nipple on 15A to 20A elbow by adjustable wrench for pipe A. Put 15A male union on 15A hex nipple. In this process, don't tighten 15A male union with 15A hex nipple at the same time.
equipped pipe D with 15A to 20A elbow and pipe A by pipe length. Change the pipe D direction and lock it on pipe vice. Put 15A elbow on the other side by pipe length. Also, pipe C is put with 15A elbow and pipe D. After changing the direction, put 15A T with pipe C. When 15A T is put on pipe C, stop it just before a bad carding. Now, check the measurement of this wire piping. When there's no problem, put 15A union flange or 15A male union with union nut by hand to fix the lenses of pipe B. Measure the length from just under the union. Measure the length from just under the union nut to 15A T for pipe B. After fixing the length of pipe B, put the mark on 15A steel pipe and cut it. After cutting the pipe B, slip at one side of it. Wind the teflon tape around the slitted part of pipe B. Remove the union nut and 15A union flange from 15A male union. Set the pipe B on pipe vise. Put on 15A union flange by adjustable ledge. After that, put pipe B on 15A T and pipe C. In this process, don't be forget to put the union nut on pipe B. Put pipe B on 15A T. Put the gasket on union flange, join to the 15A union by screw link, 15A T and tighten the union nut. Put 15A hose end on 20A T by adjustable wrench for a pressure test. Test pressure is over 8.4 kPa and the detention time is 5 minutes or longer.
After passing 5 minutes, check the chart paper when there is no drop in pressure. Pressure test is completed. Relieve pressure and remove the chart paper. This is chart paper with test results. This is correct piping. In case of misassembled piping, you will be failed. Please be aware of it. Now, we tell you how to use leg shaker. When there was a drop in pressure test for chart paper, use the leg shaker to specify where the leakage part is. Next, this is how to use wire brush. Wire brush is used to clean up teflon tape in sweet part when piping is misassembled. Thank you for watching this video. Just go for it. Borge, catch it.